So we're in the studio today. I haven't done a studio video in a long time, but I wanted to put something together because uh, I had a couple emails and a couple DMs asking, Nick, we looked on your net, but there's really no clarity. What do you carry through TSA on your trips to go fishing? We don't want to check fishing rods. No, we don't want to check our stuff. What do you carry? What do you get there? Because everyone always sees me fishing with rods and reels and, and hooks and, and whatever. I carry most of that stuff with me through security, um, along with drones and cameras and uh, a ton of GoPros. So today we're going to do that. Let's look and see how I carry stuff. All right, so this is my passport fly fisherman case. Um, so this guy inside, first off, <laughs> let me tell you, uh, last time I flew to California, I flew at a JFK. Um, the security person for TSA took everything apart. Um, if you go through regular security, you're going to definitely experience that with fishing gear. Um, I have TSA PreCheck. It's great. It's what, $85 and hold, goes is good for five years. And if you have like the Chase Mileage Plus card with United, you get it refunded. There's probably other credit cards out there that do that. Um, but, you know, keep mindful of that, that if you're going through regular security, you're probably going to get everything tossed. So don't put things too deep or too hard to take apart or put back together again because they will toss it. Um, like I said, so she took apart this case last time. Um, I actually lost the poles, so I put on uh, zip ties on the end here. Now let's open it up and see what we got inside. So inside this case, it is falling apart right now. <laughs> so there's a flap that separates the two sides of the case and everything was in here nice and neat. Um, I actually have three rods in here and it comes with these foam pads that are in here, but um, I have a pen battle, uh, three spinning rod, and this is a three piece rod. So this one's pretty easy to travel with. It actually comes with its own case for um, traveling, which I have around here. Here it is. So it comes with its own travel case, but I don't use it because I like to carry three rods, but the travel case does have a pocket to hold the reel right on the rod too, so I don't have to remove it from the seat. Um, so yeah, with this case, you do have to remove the rod from the reel from the seat, but it is a nice case. And on the other side, I carry um, this uh, Amazon brand uh, Exceed Gocher casting rod. Um, because at the time I was going to Florida last, I needed a casting rod quickly and I couldn't get a Daiwa one in time. So this is what I use and actually worked pretty well for a cheap rod, but I probably won't end up keeping it because it is a little stiff and a little heavier than I would like. Um, but I also keep my um, Daiwa Procyon uh, rod in here too, travel rod. And uh, this is uh, like 2.4 meters. So that's what, like seven, almost eight feet, 7.8 feet, something like that. And this rod's nice. It's a nice press. I know I, I showed in my videos, I showed in the last video too. So I don't have to get too crazy in it. So that's what I keep in this case. Um, I'll show you actual rods now I keep in this case. So there's actually a lot of pieces. This uh, Exceed rod is, Let's separate the Daiwa first. It's pretty easy to separate them because they have different carbon blanks. So it's easier to see. So the Daiwa rod is a four piece uh, rod. Um, makes it easier to get in the case. And it's a long, great rod. You see in my video here, it performs absolutely amazing. Um, and so here's the, the Gocher rod. Uh, this guy is a seven foot rod, a bait caster, um, moderate fast action. I think it's a medium heavy, medium power. Yeah, it's a medium heavy. Um, it worked good. Caught my, caught my PB uh, bass on it. Um, not a bad rod. 
and of course the other rod I was showing you in here is the the pen battle three rod which is just a tested and great rod so in this case through TSA I carry these three rods um, no issues carrying them through uh, the foam on this case is not really meant to carry this many rods, I don't think, so it's all over the place. And I'm not gonna get accurate with putting them away. Um, but also, let me just zip this back up again. So I carry that case strapped onto the side of my backpack. Um, when I get on the plane, the stewardess think it's an instrument or something, so it's no big deal, and it doesn't take up much room. I mean, if they have to put it in a closet, they can put it in a closet, but there's usually space in an overhead bin. R can actually fit under the seat um, on the side of my book bag. Under, I mean, it sticks out a little bit, but it's fine the way it is. And they don't even see it there because it's so cramped in there that it doesn't matter. Um, so that's the case that I carry these three rods and the three rods that I carry uh, when I go anywhere fishing for a quick trip. Um, Let's move on to the actual reels. Move this out of the way. So I just pull my whole case up here. Um, <laughs> it takes up a lot more room. Um, this this case, I it's got sand on it too. I usually don't travel with this case a lot. Uh, this is a Condition One uh, wheeled case. It's very similar to a Pelican. Don't know the number for it. I'll put it up on screen here somewhere as you'll see it. Um, it's very similar to that uh, Pelican case I have as well. Um, inside this one, let me center it in the camera. Um, I carry everything and I have a drone here. I usually have my GoPro case, which is here. I usually have that over here. I fit a Sony SLR here with the, um, 14 to 55 lens, or is it? It's uh, one, I'll, I'll get to the cameras I use in another video, but I fit one of my Sony uh, SLRs right here. Um, and inside of here is a mixture of stuff that I always make sure I carry. I always bring a bag, an extra bag in here, and there's, of course, my Fisherman's Life bag that I got from the Fisherman's Life Street Fair in San Francisco. And these are the reels that I carry with me all the time. Um, I have my Pen Battle 3 rod, which came with uh, that Pen Battle 3 combo reel travel case. Um, this rod, this reel has fished everywhere, so it's a great reel. I love it. Um, good quality the pen stuff. My other favorite reel that I carry with me is this Daiwa, oh man, there's sand all over it. Um, this Daiwa reel. Um, and this is a Daiwa BG4000, a 20 pound braid on it with a 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Um, it doesn't have a folding handle like the, the pen does, because the pen, if you reel the handle back, it actually folds and you can keep it on there and that's nice storage. This one's a solid piece handle that you have to screw on and off and I mean, whatever but there could get some sand in there which this one does have sand in there not the cleanest later um, but again one of my favorite reels I use that on the Procyon travel rod and it works great um, fish west coast east coast uh, freshwater lakes around here everywhere gets this reel the third reel I carry is I carry and this is new I only used to carry those two spinners but now I carry this uh, Daiwa um, Tatula 7.3 uh, 150 HSL. This reel is great. I love it. Great action. It barely, you know, if you get caught up and there's a backlash, it's not that bad in here. It's got this cool little system on the front. Um, you can see that, open it up on this uh, area here. Oh, let's look at the other camera. Probably see a little better. That little casting area there where the line goes through, it's pretty cool. Um, this one's great. And on here, I actually have some Cast King uh, braid on it because that's the only thing I could get uh, delivered to me in Florida at the time because this is a new reel. Um, it's great. It goes on that Gocher rod right now, which will be replaced with the 
a Daiwa uh, travel rod once I find one that I don't have to get from Japan. Other things I carry in here is more camera gear. I have this little uh, newer portable tripod and you know this goes on rocks anywhere I need it. Um, I have all my baits I use and this time I was doing saltwater and freshwater fishing so I have some voodoo shrimp. I have some power baits from uh, Ramsey Outdoor. Um, some Jigpara 20 gram jigs. Uh, some mystery tackle box gear from Catchco, um, 10,000 fish headhunters, uh, this deadly dick one from uh, Ramsey Outdoor as well. I didn't even open it, didn't get to try it this time, but for the big Florida send, which is coming, we'll see that some more, uh, some top water jigs and the jig par uh, micro jig, um, which micro jigging is fun, uh, especially on the West Coast. Um, got some other random floaters around here. Another uh, um, Chikpara jig and a resin jig, uh, again from Ramsey Outdoor. Uh, other fishing stuff I carry, well, I do have my trusty GoPro uh, tripod combination selfie stick as well I keep in here. Um, I have my South New York kayak fishing gator. There's the big, uh, there's my DJI Mavic uh, 2S, Air 2S, that's, I keep in this bag as well when I travel. Um, it's got multiple batteries. I have no problem bringing any of this through security. I keep my hooks on my baits. Everything's got the hook on it, no problem. I think the only time that you're gonna run into an issue when you're trying to bring hooks through security. Oh, my, my microphone's inside my shirt. I hope I don't have to redo that whole thing. I think the only time you're gonna have a problem with hooks is they don't want big ones. They don't want saltwater hooks. They don't want, uh, you know, big surf fishing hooks that you're gonna use cut bait on. If you're using small hooks, like this guy's got small hooks on it, you're gonna have no problem bringing that through um, security. Um, and especially if it's inside the package too. They don't care, didn't even look at that. Um, they were more concerned about the cameras I had in here. They had to scan the, the GoPros a few times and uh, check all that out. I actually had a mystery tackle box in here as well the last time, so really tightly packed. And the good thing about this hard case from Condition One is that it fits very cleanly in the top of the security, I'm the top of the security, in the overhead bins in the, in the airplane. So it doesn't take up much space. So when I'm on the plane, I usually have, or going through security, I'll have this, I'll have the rod box that we showed, and I'll have my backpack. You know, my backpack's got my laptop in it and clothes. If I'm not bringing this, I'll have a regular roller with the same equipment in it. Um, you know, maybe some, some extra things like some saucy swimmers or something in there as well, but it's pretty much the same gear that's in both sides. Um, that's pretty much it. So that's, you know, it's got fishing lures, hooks, camera batteries, drones, it's all in there. Um, the only time, and this only goes for, this is a non-fishing thing, but I also use uh, FPV drones. Um, I used to film a lot with FPV drones, uh, not that much anymore. Um, this guy is great. This guy I flew over uh, Del Mar Beach in uh, San Diego. It's a cool video of that somewhere on YouTube. Um, but uh, you have to carry these big batteries with those and uh, I had to go through standard security and they actually made me throw out a couple. The guy sat there with the calculator and actually added up all the milliamp hours of the batteries and said, you have too much, go back through security. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not leaving my son. Just take two batteries away. Who cares about the rest? So we just threw away two batteries and moved on with our lives. So all right, that's, that's what I carry when I go fishing um, on vacation. And uh, you know, uh, on the West Coast, I have stuff uh, stationed out there all year round. But if I'm going to Florida or someplace else, I do carry this stuff with me. Um, 
it's all easy to get through security. My tips are, you know, just, just be cool. If they ask you what it is, it's just fishing stuff. Um, a girl at JFK the one time said, I couldn't bring rods. And I was like, oh, I bring them all the time. And she's like, I gotta ask my manager. And the manager comes over and she's like, no, fishing rods are fine. So that's the only time I had a problem. Um, but it's easy to bring stuff. Uh, pliers is another thing. You can bring seven inch pliers. You know, they have to be seven inch in total in length through on your checked, in your uh, carry-on luggage, sorry. Seven inch pliers in your carry-on luggage. You can put any size pliers in your checked uh, bag, but on your carry-on you can only carry uh, seven inch pliers. And I've brought quite a few. Don't bring ones that look like knives. You can't bring anything sharp or knives, just a standard pair of needle nose pliers with the, the rubber handles on them is fine. Um, but I usually I'll stop at a dollar store and get a dollar store pair of pliers uh, if I'm flying somewhere and I don't have pliers for fish. I do carry a portable net as well, but I don't have it on me. Um, and I'll show it on screen here or something, or I'll add it right here. All right, here it is. I said I would add it. Um, this is the little folding net that I carry in my backpack. Um, it's like a $20 folding net but it is pretty cool it's got a long extension handle on it and it's uh is this one a 16 inch uh, basket on it yeah it's pretty big i mean you can hold a pretty good size fish in this thing so yeah i'll put it right in my backpack i could probably fit it in this yeah i could fit it in that case too i could probably fit it in some other places but i'll put it in my backpack or strap it on the side of my backpack Never a problem. All right, cool. So that's what I carry through TSA on my adventures, fishing. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Send me a message, a DM on Instagram. You can email me as well, nick at thesticks.io, and I will see you later. Anything is possible. Trying to get a lot of dough and dirt through all the obstacles, cause anything is possible. Hey. Oh man, I got a lot of goals. Stack that bread and buy my nose. Anything is possible. Hey, I grind to get a lot of dough and dirt through all the obstacles. Cause anything is possible.